As part of Cooper's efforts to expand access to care, you may begin to see more patients with intellectual and developmental disabilities, or IDD, around the hospital during your shift. As you have interactions with IDD patients, here are a few things to keep in mind. IDD patients often have difficulties with communication. This may be because of cognitive impairment, limited vocabulary, or they may be completely nonverbal. Many of these patients can communicate with sign language, a picture board, or an augmented or alternative communication device, sometimes called an AAC for short. This device serves as a voice for the patient, allowing them to communicate their wants and needs. When communicating with an IDD patient, it is best to have only one main point person to speak with the patient. Don't assume that they can't understand you. Always communicate directly with the patient as well as their caregiver or guardian, no matter how the patient is presenting. Use clear and simple language. Break down complex topics into simpler segments. Avoid abbreviations and jargon. Speak in a calm, even tone, and always address the patient directly. These strategies will help to avoid overstimulation that can lead to negative behaviors such as verbal outbursts or physical disruptions, which may be the patient's only means of communication. You may encounter a patient that engages in vocalizations or vocal stimming. Vocalizations can be in the form of screaming, high or low pitched sounds, grunting, humming, repeating words or phrases, and more. This is a common behavior in individuals with autism, and it's a way for them to regulate their sensory input and communicate their emotions and needs. It may be the only way that they can cope with an overwhelming sensory environment. IDD patients may not respond to social graces, such as shaking hands or direct eye contact. For this reason, always explain what you will be doing with the patient before you do it. Get their consent to touch them as you would with any other patient. Communicating with an IDD patient can be challenging, so remember IDD patients may need additional time to process and respond to this information. Offer patients kindness, respect, and understanding. Show empathy and be an active listener as you would with any patient. Using these techniques can help to reduce the chance of negative behaviors, improve the patient experience, and provide the best possible outcomes. Mm -hmm.